In the early morning, the Russians shelled several border towns in the Sumy and Chernihiv regions. In the city of Dnepr, 10 people died. More than 30 were injured. In Donbass, the Russian army seized part of the village of Liman. How long will the European Union agree on its sixth package of sanctions? Meanwhile, Russia receives almost a billion euros a day from Europeans for providing energy resources. I am, of course, grateful to those friends who are in favor of new sanctions. But where does so much strength come from in those who block them? For so many weeks, the world has no will to block the Russian banking system, to deprive the aggressor of the possibility of financing not only the war against us, but also the policy of creating divisions and crises around the world. The pressure on Russia Russia is a matter of preserving life, and each day of delay, weakness, various quarrels, proposals to appease the aggressor at the expense of the victim, results in more killed Ukrainians. The catastrophic course of events could be stopped if the world treated the situation in Ukraine as its own situation, only if the world's superpowers did not impose on Russia, but actually forced it to stop the war. Ukraine has sufficient grain stocks to meet the needs of the domestic and world markets by the end of the this year, but the Black Sea needs to be unblocked, according to the advisor to the president of Ukraine, Oleg Hustenka. From the very beginning of its aggression, Russia planned to block Ukrainian ports in order to trigger a world food crisis and put even more pressure on the West while using food as a weapon. The granary was shelled. Other farm buildings, workshops and a mill were also damaged. However, there will be wheat this year. In the field, you can see that it will be of good quality because the soil was fertilized on time. The frosts did not damage the crops either. That is why we are counting on a good harvest. According to the Italian daily Corriere della Sera, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson proposed to Ukraine to create a joint political, economic and military alliance as an alternative to the European Union. Leg. Uh, you know, what's the, what's What's the negotiation? Uh, and, and that is what Putin is doing. And any kind of, he will try to freeze the conflict. He will try and call for a ceasefire. We desperately need, need it to end. Uh, we de the world needs it to end. The advisor to the president of Ukraine, Mikhailo Podolak, referred to the voices that have appeared in recent days that the supply of weapons will cause the conflict to escalate. The video shows the Russian Sontsepek flamethrower system. Some partners avoid giving the necessary weapons because of fear of the escalation. Escalation? Really? Russia already uses the heaviest non-nuclear weapons against Ukrainians, burning people alive. The United States is considering sending advanced long-range missile systems to Ukraine. Canada, on the other hand, has sent howitzers by sea to support the Ukrainian army. Since the beginning of the invasion of Ukraine, Russia has already lost over 29,500 soldiers, over 3,200 armored combat vehicles, 206 aircraft, and 115 cruise missiles. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister of Finland, Sanna Marin, arrived in Ukraine today. The head of government in Helsinki visited Buta, where she saw traces of Russian crimes with her own eyes. Marin expressed her solidarity with the Ukrainian people and assured of her full support for the fighting Ukraine.